are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, today is uh, still February 7th. It's actually 6 o'clock. I'm doing this video a little bit later here. Uh, 2023. It is still Tuesday. <sighs> Just kind of... <laughs> One of those kind of, she's actually going now. So earlier, I, she was like flipping out, wanted to come out earlier, right? So I bring her outside. She does absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. So now now she finally goes to the bathroom. And I even said to her, I go, you were flipping out about going, like, to, so I'm not, actually, I, you'll love this. I was on the phone with uh, with Becky. Oh, the birds, she saw the birds. Uh, I was on the phone with Becky, and Hella is like so vocal, uh, it is hilarious, and uh, and Becky was like dying laughing because I'm talking to the dog like I'm talking to a person, you know. And I'm like, well, you'll have to wait. I'm on the phone, and the dog's like, rawr, 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 you know. So it's just that's uh, <laughs> yeah. She's my four-legged human, right? Hella, huh? Are you? Are you a good girl? Yes. <laughs> sometimes say sometimes I am. All right, so I, I wanted to talk about in this video here, guys. I, I really kind of want to be serious for a minute. I know I, I like to joke a lot and I like to have fun, but uh, there's a lot of serious things going on. And uh, I think that uh, we need to be putting ourselves again, and I know I've been talking about this, putting ourselves in position, getting the things that we need to get uh now and i've been trying to you know do that myself and and getting the different things that i need to do here and get things squared away because there is uh definitely a lot going on uh there's a lot that we need to be concerned about and uh you know with the, the tensions around the world uh i mean you know let's let's pick a country what china russia iran North Korea, you know. Uh, so first of all, let, let's be realistic. Iran and North Korea are not a threat to the United States of America. They're not. They know that. We know that. Um, that's just a drum that gets beaten quite a bit. Uh, again, like more scare tactics. <laughs> more scare tactics than anything else. Um, but Russia and China... Those are, you know, those are players in the ball field. They're, uh, they're definitely big men on the court, if you will, and uh, they need to be. We need to be wary of them. And uh, there's a lot of games being played on both sides. Have been for quite a while. Uh, there's been a, you know, an ongoing thing with China for quite some time. China wants to expand its reach around the world because they want to be the major player in the world not the united they don't want the united states to be they want to be the major player around the world so you know you start vying for those positions um just like a, a, an example would be china's moved into africa quite a bit as we know uh they're looking at putting uh, a base over there and uh you know they have uh really stepped in and uh you know gone into different places i mean you look at what happened um oh god i'm trying to think of the country is it rwanda i know it was happening in south africa as well where they were taking the land away from the white farmers and giving it black or giving it to black farmers that didn't know how to really or the government was taking it over and uh they really didn't know how to run those farms and so um, i believe it was rwanda where it happened where they did that they expelled all the white farmers you know, because, of course, everything is always the white man's fault. When they're, you know, farmers feed the countries, folks. Let's, let's be honest, okay? Farmers feed the countries. And if you want to take the farmers out of the equation, there's going to be problems with that. But uh, I think it was Rwanda. If I'm not mistaken, please, somebody correct me in the uh, comments. But uh, they begged for those farmers to come back because they ran those farms into the ground because they didn't know how to run them. I mean, it's not something that you just, hey, yeah, I'll just take this over and I'll just do it. Uh, these are things that these families that have been doing it forever and ever and a day, they know what they're doing. They know how to do it. 
Uh, I couldn't even begin to think about trying to run a large farm. I have no experience with that. So why would I all of a sudden say, yeah, I can do this better than you. Get out of here. You know what I mean? It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. But anyway, so you've had China step in uh, over in places, again, like South Africa and other countries over there and trying to exert their influence over there and, uh, you know, throwing money at them. Uh, that's just like we do, just like the United States does, right? Uh, we don't like that. The United States doesn't like that because we're supposed to be uh, the big dog in the in the yard, and we don't like somebody else using our own playbook and uh, you know playing those games. But there's a lot of stuff that goes on uh, behind the scenes that we'll never hear about, that we'll never see. What what do we hear about? We hear China's bad. Russia's bad. We're the good guys. Uh, we're the only ones. Is, well, let's see. We're good. Canada's good. The Great Britain's good, and Australia's good. But let's look at what Australia did to its own people during this situation over the last couple of years. Uh, the Nazi tactics that were utilized on their own people. <laughs> I mean, how do you do that to your own people? They were trying to do it here, too, in the United States. So don't uh, be delusional to think that we weren't, uh, you know, trying to enact things as well uh, over here. The difference is over here, and again, this is, a, the, in my opinion, one of the big pushes and why it's one of the big pushes. Australia has been disarmed. The Australian people have been disarmed. They can't rise up, defend themselves, and say, hey, you know, we're not taking this crap no more. In the United States, we can and the powers that be know that. So they try to slowly strip away our rights, slowly try to take away, uh, you know, that part of what we're doing, uh, our freedom, because if they can disarm us, they can control us better. Because once you're disarmed, and, and, and I love it too when you have like the president say, you know, President Biden said this, he goes, what's a, what, what's a, uh, you know, um, AR-15 going to do against a, you know, a jet, which is true. That's a, a, to a point. But if you disarm all the people, it makes us weaker. With uh, our country having as many guns as we have in this country, we're a strong country because people are not going to invade this country because of so many people being armed. That's just the way it is. That's a fact. That is a fact. So something to think about, guys. Uh, something to think about. There's a lot of games being played constantly, a lot of games being played constantly here in our own country against our own people. And uh, the manipulation is huge. It is huge. Uh, it always is, amazes me when some of these politicians that have absolutely no idea uh, about guns are going to talk like they're expert on guns. <laughs> I think that's, I find that very amusing. Because they have no clue. They just, it doesn't, you know, when they're saying, oh, yeah, it'll put a hole in you this big. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's just, I, I just, I find that amusing. And they're going to school and educate and teach us and, and tell us what we should be doing. I don't think so. So anyway, folks, I am going to jump off of here for now because it's starting to get dark. And uh, I have other things that I got to take care of. But uh, remember, guys, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we truly will be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important to tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD. Step thing in day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from achieving your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? I will see you all tomorrow. I hope everybody has a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.